Uh, right now we are we're displaying a couple of widgets and each one can have its uh, uh, a different type of editor um and uh so so let's take a look at uh, uh if you know if if we could uh, you know render this right so for instance uh this this has this uh, new new widget uh, and maybe we 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 would like to be able to edit it right so let's try and edit it uh so for instance how would we edit that uh, notice that if the if it's an input field for the for the widget, we would need to give it a initial value, right, and then be able to change it using on change and whatnot. Yes, uh, so so we could give it an initial value that says you know value is what. Notice that the widget is being passed to as a property, widget dot title. Right, uh, so we can edit it. Notice that it has the value, but we can't change it. Right, even if even if I put an on change, it's not going to allow me to change the property that's being passed to me. Yes, right. I need to copy that over into my own little state, so I can manipulate my state. Right. So let's do that. So what we're going to do here is that uh, we're going to have to convert this, un unfortunately, uh, into just a class. So a class, so that we can maintain a state. Right. So this will be class uh, extends. Uh, React dot uh, component open curly bracket uh, render return parentheses and we'll just move this entire div into the return right and we'll put this dot props into everything yes in front of everything so this dot props we're converting this into a class component only because we want to maintain a local state, right? So, uh, so we can now keep track of a state. So that we can copy over, we can copy over the widget that is being passed to us. So we can keep a local copy, and then we can manipulate it. So we can say, uh, th um, this is going to be this dot props the widget that is being passed to me as a property. Now I can, uh, I can instead of looking at the title from the property, I can look at the title from the widget in the state, right? So there it is. So this is now the state. Now I can modify the, 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 the title. I can change it, right? Using on change. I can say on change. Uh, I can say um, E arrow. Um, uh, we, can, we can grab the new title. We can say uh, const new title. It will be um, e dot target dot value. Once we have the new title, we can now change the state. You know, set state uh, of you know using the previous state. Uh, we can um, we can change the the old widget. You know, the old widget. We can we want to change it so that it has all the features of the old widget previous uh, state dot widget, you know, copy over everything because a widget might have lots of things, right? It might have a width, a height, a class, a style, uh, you know, might have tons and tons of their size, URL, source, you have a lot of features. We only want to change the title here. So this, this, uh, this syntax says copy everything over, make the widget you know what the old widget was all those you know including the id everything right but override the title to be this new title okay uh so oh, oops um uh, it's not exported okay so it's a class i never exported it so let's export it here you know export default uh the heading widget uh still not is not exported um uh hmm so in widget list where is the widget oh we don't need the you know we don't we don't need it anymore because we're exporting as a default um all right so excellent so we can now try to edit this so, if, so we can notice that we can now edit it uh but notice that the the change doesn't doesn't is not made permanent right uh, until i actually uh, save this the state okay um right we haven't sent it over to the server right if i refresh right still the the old uh, wa right to make it permanent i need to we need to go out to the server and and update that right so let's let's take a look at that how would we do that 